Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I am Crypto Kip, and today we're going to be talking about Crypto.com, CrowCoin. Listen up, Crow fam. We got a huge announcement for you. Crow is currently trending big time on Twitter. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you exactly why I believe that it's trending because I'm not seeing people talk about why it's trending on Twitter, just that it's trending. So we're going to give you all the details on that and what we expect to see from that here throughout the video, but we are going to talk about some big stories going on in crypto as well. More bankruptcies happening with different companies. There's a lot more FTX fallout that we need to discuss. We'll give you an update on Sam Bingham Freed. We'll give you an update on CZ and some other crypto exchanges that are now getting flooded. Not crypto.com, but some other ones that are getting flooded. I know you know about KuCoin, but there's another one here that I got to tell you about today. So we got a lot to cover and we're going to get into the content in just a short minute. But if you haven't done so already, smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel. We're doing four videos every single day for you. And when we hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel, we're going to give away $1,000 worth of Bitcoin to one lucky subscriber. So you don't want to miss out on that. Let's take a peek here at the charts. Let's get into the content, guys. An $863 billion market cap and ding, ding, ding. We got a $17,000 Bitcoin price, guys. Bitcoin has started its ascent once again. Now, just in our video yesterday, we talked a little bit about how we're expecting a breakout very, very soon. Why? Because of monthly volatility. The monthly candle is ending for Bitcoin. And look at what we got here. We got a beautiful breakout. I'm going to go down to this 30-minute chart just so you can see the extent of this breakout. Look at the price action here. And on the minute, Guys, we could be breaking out like big time out of this and get back up to that 18 to 20K range, which is exactly what I said in a previous video. So make sure you guys stay up to date with our videos because we will keep you guys up to date on what moves we think. And if you want to make a trade, you know, we do have referral links in the description down below. If you sign up for BitGet, which is a new partner for us, they have an awesome sign up bonus of up to $4,500. And I think you can even get more if you open up an account, deposit it and get going my open up a trade. Whether you think it's going up or down, you can trade it, guys, but just be careful when you're using leverage. Uh, Ethereum's at 1300 bucks Right now, Binance is currently back up to that $300 price level, which is great to see. Binance is looking strong right now. And Kronos at six and a half cents, which is awesome to see. Crowcoin looking good, looking like we are due for a breakup, and we might have a chance, folks. We might have a chance to get back up to this 11 cent price level. So we'll have to keep an eye on that for you as well. Um, but let's get into some of the stories for the day. First story of the day, Sam Bankman Fried says he is not sure what happened to his $100 million stake in Twitter shortly after Elon Musk claimed that the crypto mogul didn't even have any shares. Sam Bankman Fried is at it again, lying his <laughs> lying himself off. That's right. He is lying, guys. Again, and Elon Musk called him out. Now, these two guys, they are in the headlines like crazy right now. Uh, but the story goes is that Sam Bankman fried told Axios that he doesn't know what happened to his $100 million stake in Twitter. Uh, and he said that he thought that Almeida planned to at least roll over $20 million into a new holding company. Uh, but Sam, uh, Elon Musk said he doesn't own any shares. This is not true. Again, Sam Bankman fried cannot... Stop lying. And by the way, tomorrow, guys, Sam Bankman fried will be going on uh, Zoom and he will be talking, I believe, with the New York Times tomorrow in an interview. So you do not want to miss that. And uh, by the way, tomorrow we'll be doing a live stream at 530 and we'll be giving you guys an update on how that conversation went with Sam Bankman fried We'll keep you guys up to date with all the news. Crypto, me and my partner, Black Sea, here on the channel. So I uh, want to keep you up to date with that. But I thought that was an interesting story. And now... More FUD uh, for KuCoin. Uh, a lot of people have been going crazy on Twitter recently about KuCoin and its APY rates. And the story I want to update you guys on is allegedly, and this isn't confirmed yet, but CZ actually put out another tweet fudding KuCoin on this news saying users need to be aware of exchanges with high APYs. There is too much FUD going on for these crypto exchanges, guys. We need to lighten up on the FUD, and I'm here to call it out. I just want to show you guys, there's an article going out about KuCoin. People are fudding it. KuCoin's great, but I will admit that their APYs, they are a little concerning, but that's up to you. You know, you got to do your own research, and if something's too good to be true, well, then be careful, guys. You got to be careful out there uh, because it is a wild world. It's a wild world indeed. Um, but people are going crazy on Twitter, and yesterday, KuCoin was trending. 
Now it's Crow. And we're going to get to why Crow is trending here in a minute, but I got one or two more updates for you real quick. Crypto exchange Kraken, the new exchange to get fudded, lays off 1,100 employees. So guys, bad headline, of course. But the story goes is that Kraken, the world's third largest, the world's third largest crypto exchange by volume, is laying off about 30% of its employees. Also note, it comes on the same day that DoorDash announced 1,200 job cuts. Guys, it's a bear market. It's almost a recession for the U.S. economy, and hopefully, we're coming out of that with these interest rates. They might be actually doing less of an interest rate hike, hopefully, in the next FOMC meeting, which we've been talking about. But the economy's rough, and people are laying off workers. Crypto.com had to lay off workers. A lot of these crypto exchanges had to lay off workers. But unfortunately, after the FTX fallout, Kraken had to just lay them off. And so it's not a good look right now. But uh, not trying to spread some FUD, just giving you guys the news. And I'm telling you, don't panic, okay? Kraken's a good exchange. They're doing all right. Um, for now, until we have evidence otherwise, you know, they're going to come out with their proof of reserves just like everybody else. So you got to keep an eye on that. But layoffs during a bear market for crypto exchanges... It's, it's not a bad thing. I mean, it's bad for the employees. We don't support layoffs. We don't want people to lose their jobs. But crypto exchanges got to do what they got to do to stay in business. Um, whether that's spending a lot of money on marketing or whether that's unfortunately having to lay off workers because crypto trading volumes are down and they're not making as much money. These things happen, guys. DoorDash is laying off workers. So no panic here, but I wanted to give you guys an update on that. Let me know what you think of that in the comments down below. Another story, though. More fallout from FTX, more problems for crypto exchanges and crypto entities. U.S. crypto broker Genesis says they're trying to, they're working currently on avoiding bankruptcy filing, which is good to see, but I do believe that they'll probably still collapse. Um, BlockFi was doing the same thing. You know, they didn't want to, they didn't want to go bankrupt, but in the end, bankruptcy came and BlockFi went under. And I do believe that the thing, the same thing will happen with Genesis. Uh, which is unfortunate because, again, Genesis is tied to Gemini, which is owned by the Winklevoss Twins, which is a large crypto exchange in the U.S., and they do a great job as well, but they do have an association with this project, so it'll be very interesting to see what happens. Now, what's interesting is Gemini, uh, excuse me, Genesis is actually owned by an entity called uh, DCG, which is the Digital Currency Group. They own Genesis Trading and uh, they also own Grayscale, which is very, very interesting. Uh, and apparently, they owe $575 million to Genesis Crypto's lending arm. So this might help them, but we'll have to see how it goes. Um, right now, their plan is to evaluate the best possible asset preservation strategy to and effectuate a roadmap. So they're working on it. If you love crypto out there, you want to see them figure it out. You want to see them, some, them succeed. We got to support other projects here, guys, and we don't want to spread FUD. We do want to we do want to tell people the facts and keep up to date with all things crypto, uh, but we want to give them facts. Speaking of keeping you up to date with all things crypto, you can do that by following us at the Crypto Report. We have 5,000 subscribers currently, and when we hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel, we are giving away $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. We do four videos every day, and if you want to really participate and support the channel, you can become a member uh, and we have different tiers, supporter, crypto reporter, senior crypto reporter, and VIP crypto reporter. If you're a supporter, you get these loyalty badges, which shows how long you've been supporting the channel, and you get these cool emojis to do, uh, use during our live streams, which, by the way, we're doing a live stream every Tuesday and Thursday at 5.30 Central Standard Time, so don't miss out on that. And check out these tiers, which you can access on your computer, not on your iPhone, by going to our channel at the Crypto Report. Um Another update for you guys. So I wanted to show you guys right now that it is very cool. Crow is currently trending on Twitter. It is happening, guys. It is very, very exciting to see. And you might be wondering why. Well, when you click on it and you look at what's going on, they're not really showing too much, too much news on why it's trending. But don't you worry because I got the story for you here I believe that Crow right now is trending because of a huge announcement that they came out with. Guys, I got myself a loaded lion the other day, and I did it for this very reason. Crypto.com land is coming out, guys. It is the first Frontier collection. And guys, there will be a huge announcement that they just launched today. They are introducing the Loaded Lions main city. It is a tycoon-style idle game. 
and their first dip into GameFi. And people that have loaded Lions and Cyber Cubs will get advantages in this ecosystem, which is very cool to see. And uh, look, you know, they, they show these Cyber Cubs here in their content and they got them side by side. So very interesting to see. Shout out to anybody with a loaded lion or a cyber cub. Very, very cool to see that coming. And I do believe that this is why it is currently trending. Crow is trending on Twitter and it is huge, guys. Now, the story is with this loaded lion main city, I'm going to give you guys the in-depth detail on this. I got to give you the the deets here. So they're proud to announce the loaded lions main city, a Thai coon style idol game powered by Kronos. In our first foray into Game 5, players can build businesses and accumulate wealth. However, this isn't your typical tycoon game because there's a competitive twist. The story is, is that basically each player is a business person whose goal is to design and build the ultra luxe mansion of their dreams. From modern art to pinball machines, rock climbing walls to jacuzzis, the possibilities are endless. Your goal, guys, is basically to build almost like roller coaster tycoon. Tycoon, right? You want to build the best, coolest mansion and you want to do it with your loaded lion if you got a loaded lion you don't need a loaded lion to participate but you will get advantages and each land nft you own will grant you a plot of land to build your business which is very cool there's different rarities you can construct gyms banks music stores and much much more and guys the higher your rank the greater your rewards guys so this is going to be very competitive which is very cool which should entice people to build on it and compete and get more activity going, which is going to be great for what? The Kronos ecosystem, guys. Now, here's the cool thing. Here's the perks. Loaded Lions and Cyber Cubs perks. As a pioneer of Main City, all Loaded Lion and Cyber Cub holders will receive exclusive benefits during the land sale and in the game, such as special discounts, early access, boosters, non-tradable in-game assets, and more. And then they go into detail a little bit more about the land and not too much. There are special features for these bits of land and they possess special powers and these are ever evolving. So this is going to be very, very cool. And guys, this is exactly what all the hype is about. It's very, very exciting. And Binance, I don't see them coming out with something like this yet. So guys, Crow is ahead of the game. Uh, but, you know, CZ is working on building. Widgets are now available. They're doing a lot more. So, and look at this. Today, uh, actually went out and had a discussion with uh, the leader of Georgia, another country. So, CZ's doing his job. He's doing his job as well, and he's going out and competing. Uh, but he's got to stop fighting some of these other exchanges, guys. We got to come together. But when you when you look at the story of the day, Crow's trending. We're in good shape, Crow fam. Smash up the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you love some Crow action because we certainly do here at the Crypto Report. Um, I'm going to keep you guys up to date with everything. I did like, this is my loaded lion. I got my loaded lion the other day. And by the way, this is a brand new announcement for you. I'm very excited. I did purchase another NFT, guys. I purchased another NFT, but I'm not going to tell you what it is today. I'm going to tell you what it is tomorrow during my live stream at 5.30 Central Standard Time. So you'll want to tune into that. I'll let you guess what it is in the comments down below. Guess what you think I got in the comments down below. I'm very excited to show you guys. I will temporarily post it as my Twitter picture tomorrow after our live stream. Um, so make sure you check me out at Crypto Kip Tweets. And uh, we'll keep you guys up to date with all stories. And we are getting a lot more followers there, which is cool. And my partner, Black Sea has a D-God. He's been buying some stuff up in the Solana ecosystem, which is currently at a huge discount, but he spent some good money on this one right here. This is a very cool D-God, and uh, he as well will keep you up to date with all things crypto. Check him out at 333 Black C as well, and you can follow us at the Crypto Report. Underscore Crypto Report is our Twitter. Guys, a lot of exciting things going on in the crypto space, and I will keep you up to date with all these stories, folks. That's our job here at the Crypto Report. We absolutely love to do it. Um, this community, guys, is stronger than ever before. People are starting to FOMO in to Crow, which is about darn time. We want to see people growing this Crow community, which is exactly what we're doing here at the Crypto Report. We do some partnerships, some collabs with other uh, crypto uh, YouTube influencers here in the space. And we intend to do a lot more of those, a lot of live streams. Like I said, every Tuesday and Thursday at 5.30 Central Standard Time, we will be doing live streams, guys. And you can come out and support the channel 
if you'd like to. And you can join our Patreon in the link in the description down below. We got a lot of goodies for you. Uh, that's all I got today, guys. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, you've got to remember to DCA, HODL, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. I got two videos for you right here. If you want to check them out, peace.